Had over 30 top 40 hits. Yep. 100 million albums plus sold. 200. 200 million. Yeah. Beg your pardon, I'll just lazy 100, throw that out. Career earnings, over 300 million Australian dollars plus. Correct me on that one if you want to. Uh, you know what, mate, if I knew I'd tell you, but um, I don't count. And what's amazing, it's all because my dad, instead of buying me a little railway station for my railway, when I was a kid, bought me a guitar. I never asked for it. I had no inclination about singing, but then that sparked it. Is it true that you were discovered playing harmonica in a railway station? Yeah. Is that a true story? Yeah, that's a true story. Uh, there was a guy called Long John Baldry who... He was fantastic, wasn't he? He was fantastic. And there's a, not a day goes by whether I don't think about him because I owe him everything. He got me started. So he walked past you? Yeah. And I, I leant down, stood down on the platform, was playing a harmonica. And he came over and he said, would you like to join the band as a harmonica player? I said, what? Yeah, of course I would. How old were you then? 18, 17 or 18. And then later, you know, I said, can I sing a few songs? And that blew him away. Then I became a vocalist. And your mum and dad were happy with that? Uh, my dad was OK with it because he knew deep down, you know, that I didn't really want to play football for a living. So he was, bless my dad, he was always 100% behind me. My mum weren't too pleased. Uh, in fact, Long John had to go and visit my mother, which he did. And he took a bunch of flowers and said, Elsie, would you be OK if your son joined the band? And she said, well, you just make sure he gets home by 11 o'clock every night, she said. So... Is there anything left to achieve? It never goes away. It's, you know, I've got a new album coming out now and I'm wise enough to realise it's not going to outsell Taylor Swift, but I've had my go, you know. I've had amazing sales. And I always say I make an album just for a few friends. You know, and if it gets in the top ten, I'll be happy. Um, but other than that, you know, I want to have wonderful times with my eight children. I want to maintain good health and happiness. I want to share magic moments with my wife alone, the two of us. That's why I'm taking a day off next year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, That'll go down. I actually, no, we do, we do, and I've taken two months off here and there, and uh, to spend and enjoy it all, you know, and watch Celtic. I have a CBE, Commander of the British Empire, and I'm a knight. I'm happily married. My kids love me. What more do I want? I'm going out on tour again in October to do what I love. I'm coming down to Australia to do what I love. No complaints from here, from Stuart, you know. You're all right, you're doing... I'm all right, mate. Hello, I'm Liam Bartlett. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.